I don't think we can do a, a, enough videos on why raising something to a negative exponent is equivalent to one over that base raised to the positive, raised over the positive exponent, raised to the positive exponent, I should say. And to get more intuition about why this makes sense, I'll look at different powers of two and then think about what makes sense as we go to exponents below zero, integer exponents below zero. So let's start, let's start with two to the third power. Well, two to the third power is two times two times two, which of course is equal to eight. Now, what about two to the second power? Well, that's going to be two times two, which is of course equal to four. And to go from two to the third to two to the second power, what happened here? Well, we divided by two. We divided by two. Now let's keep going. What about two to the first power? Well, that's just two. And once again, to go from two squared to two to the first power, we divided by we divided by two. Now things are going to get interesting. Two to the zeroth power, and actually this will help build the intuition of why something, something non-zero to the zeroth power is defined to be one. Well, so far every time we decremented the exponent by one, we essentially divided by two, so we should divide by two again. So if we divide by two again, we get one. And this is part of the motivation why two to the zero power should be equal to one. But let's keep going. What should two to the negative one power be if we want to be consistent about continuing to divide by two? Well, we divide by two again. We divide by two again. And so this is going to be equal to one half. Notice, two to the negative one is one half. Two to the one is equal to one. This is equal to the reciprocal of this. Let's keep going, this is, this is fun. So what should two to the negative two power be? Well, we should divide by two again. Divide by two again, you get to one fourth. I think you see the pattern. Two to the negative three power, well we should divide by two again, and we get to one over eight, which is the reciprocal of two to the third Power. So once again, another way to think about why negative exponents are about taking reciprocals. To, uh, take, taking something the negative exponent is equivalent to one over taking that same base to the positive exponent.